Good morning guys, once again I am in front of you. Today we are going to discuss operating system. Here I will tell you two things. First one is what is an operating system and second one is that uh, what is the functions of an operating system. So guys let's start. What is an operating system? Operating system if you will see by its name you can see that what is this and what are the use of this. So you can see a system by which all the computers are managed. The system by which we operate all the computers completely that is operating system. Okay. I have to tell you something about it. What is an operating system? Operating system is that software without that software, without an operating system you cannot do anything with the computer you cannot use the computer you cannot operate the computer and you cannot work with any system or application software first I have to tell you very initial and very important thing when we assembled any computer, when we or anybody, suppose it may be any uh, assembler of a computer, that may be any engineering or manufacturer of the computer. Whenever a man or a student like us, like me and you, when we assemble a computer, first one, the word is ours that we have to install the operating system. Because of one thing, if we will not install the operating system we cannot run the computer properly and we cannot install any operate, uh, application software application softwares okay so it is very important it, uh, we can see uh, as a man and a man's body suppose it's me and whatever i am talking to you whatever i am seeing whatever i am doing everything is till then then my soul is in my body. If my soul will pass out, then it will be. Uh, it will. Uh, it means that I will die. In the same way, you can say that for a uh, computer system, an operating system is its soul. As a man cannot live, cannot live without his soul, his or her soul. In the same way, a computer can't work. Computer can't do anything without his soul means without operating system. Now I will explain and I will make it clear what are the function of operating system. The function of operating system is very important and very necessary. As I told you recently that without operating system we cannot run the computer, we cannot work the computer, we cannot operate the computer. When we start the computer, now I am going to the, I am going to the point that exactly what are the function of operating system. Okay, so guys listen it very carefully that when we start a computer, you will see that computer takes some time to start. Like if we start a TV, we just switch on a switch and then after we push the power button and with the help of remote you can you just uh, give the power and it will start it is not going to take so much time but when we start a, uh, a laptop when we start a mobile phone cell phone smartphone android phone when we going to start a uh, uh, personal computer also in the same way you will see it is taking some time it will taking process 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 then what is it why it is here is the question that why a computer is taking so much time so much time means two one two three minutes it can take why it is taking okay and what is happening during this time why computer can't start just like a television there should be must be and there must be some reason so that is the reason i am going to explain what are the reason why computer are taking so much time to start why your cell phone why your laptop why your personal computer everything that is related to the android that we call it smart like a smart tv smartphones why is taking so much time exactly when we start the computer when we start the mobile phone when we start the laptops it is taking the time how we just start how 
we will and we give the power supply with the pop switches and socketes. First, it will uh, start operating system. The first function, the first work of operating system is here. Okay, the operating system will check during all these process of starting. It is called boosting. Uh, sorry, it is called booting process. So always keep it in your mind. The time that the process that take the computer when we give it to the electricity, it takes two three minutes, one to three minutes. It this process, the process that happens during this time in the duration of this time, it is called booting process. Okay, so booting process is happen with the help of operating system. What happens in booting process when we start the computer? Operating system first check all the input, output, and CPU related devices that is connected to the computer. Okay, first thing. Second thing, uh, second thing is first computer will check all. File installation, there is not any problem in any system or application software. Finally, if there is not any problem, operating system will and uh, is unable to get any problem, get any error, then it will give us the final result in the face of in the face of desktop. Okay, we will see the desktop. Finally, when we, we got the desktop on our computer, on our mobile phone, on our laptop, it means that everything is going well. So if in the other hand we can see if during this whole booting process if it will see that there are some problem suppose your keyboard is not connected properly okay suppose i'm going to give an example then computer will not start completely after some time of booting it will give you message that the keyboard error or any type of error it can see it will Okay, so if uh, you can see the keyboard error, it means you, you are going to connect the keyboard properly. Then after you will restart the computer and after some uh, some moments, after some time, computer will start properly. What, it, what is it? All these types of booting process are completed due to operating system. I hope that you are getting me. Okay, so this is this is the function of an and this is the uh, definition what I told you recently before some time that what is an operating system uh, last at last I have to tell you two three things without operating system we cannot work to the computer when we start the computer I have to be, uh, give you a quick revision when we assemble uh, when anybody assembled any computer first they have to uh, install the operating system after uh, installing the after uh, installation of operating system we can install any application software. Now, I have, uh, tomorrow we will discuss what are the types of softwares. Well, okay. Today, uh, before some time, I told you, I told you what are the uh, function and what are the parts of input and output devices. In uh, previous videos, you can see. So, guys, tomorrow we will discuss what is an.